I'm over here because um, it seems to be something else going on. Barnett or something like that. I don't know. Is everybody paying attention? That's what I know. Who's paying attention? All right. Here we go. First of all, I want to let y'all know that it is not a lot of black people in the room. I'm going to get that out of my chest right up front. So with that being said, I won't be using the N-word tonight. Sir, do you, you're laughing. Do you know what the N-word is, sir? Don't tell me, but do you know? Yes, sir, okay? You know what the N-word is? I'm pretty sure all my black people in here know what the N-word is because it's something that's so near and dear to our hearts. It's something that we're so intimately familiar with. As a matter of fact, on the count of three, I want us all to say the N-word at the same time. All right? Y'all ready? One, two, three. Incorporation. What were you thinking about, sir? Yeah, I think we got a reason in the house, y'all. We got a reason in the house. Honestly, y'all, this is my first time ever doing stand-up, y'all. So, um, y'all got to bear with me if I'm a little bit nervous. But I want to let y'all know that everything I'm right now is the reason. So if you ever see anybody else saying shit that I say, let me know, because I'm going to go from up. Man. So... Speaking about racism, man, this is a crazy thing. You know, we, we live in a diverse world now, you know. Every, yeah, all these cultures are now seeming to come together, you know. Back in the day, it wasn't like that. White didn't like black, you know, black didn't like white. But nowadays, you know, white guys are doing hip hop now. So are you, are you doing hip hop? We <laughs> <laughs> got black people doing other things, you know, that, that they usually wouldn't do, like sports, you know, high school, playing golf, and all that. Where'd it go? Now, one thing that will never happen, and I don't know why, I don't know if it's because it's in the claws or the tree or what, but <laughs> black people will not take black people's names. <laughs> I mean, think, no, I mean, think about it, though. Have you, like, why somebody you rolled up to a fast food restaurant and was like, welcome to Ray Ray in the box, how may I take your order? You know, that, it don't sound right, you know? <laughs> Ray Ray. All right, like, you know, um, <laughs> Or you're, you're doing in the King 5 News with your anchors, Ted Phillips and Shaniqua Jackson. It's just like they don't flow right, you know? So, we we'll keep that up. So, in Seattle seems to be the uh, melting pot for diverse people, you know? We got a, we got a mixed race. We got mixed race everywhere. You know, and it, it's a good thing. Sometimes. You know, I got, I got friends. I got one friend who half black, half 9 11. I don't really know what race it is, but hey, it's just, you know, 9 11. We'll just say that for now. And his name is Irvin Jones. I mean, he's and You have to push that, that first part. You have to push it. Well, Irvin, you have to push that out. I mean, you can talk regular, but that has to stay in there, you know? And, you know, me and my wife, Irvin was going to the store. It's like, She's the only person I know who has an exclamation point in his name. And this, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, this, this is no lie, no lie. I got another friend, y'all, uh, who's half Jewish and half German. Half Jewish and half German, sir, did you get that? Did you get that? Half Jewish and half, his name is Adolf Leon. <laughs> He's fucked up. I'm gonna tell you right now. This dude, hey, Adolf Mayer. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? He's the only one that I know that has to pay somebody to protect him from killing himself. It's a weird. It's a weird kind of You know, but you can't laugh at stuff like that because we all got fucked up families. Like, and nowadays, we in this new age, we're in the Facebook world. Everybody's doing Facebook. You gotta do Facebook to do everything nowadays. In my dysfunctional family, we took it a step further and we had a Facebook funeral. <laughs> I don't know why y'all laughing, but the funeral was not funny. Let me tell you what happened. It was a Monday. My uncle, we found out my uncle died. So they decided to have a funeral on a Saturday. So, you know, and, and like any funeral, we had to go get our suits and clean us and. Yeah, I heard that stuff, and, you know, by the time Saturday rolls around, my suit's out of clean, my hair is fresh, and I go take a shower, I put my deodorant, cologne on, I suit it up, grab my keys, 
We're going to sit my ass right at the computer screen. I'm sitting on this computer screen. They got a picture of my damn uncle sitting on there like this. That's RFGT. If you didn't RFGT, you are getting in. It's getting funny, guys. It's getting funny. Just get better with me. You know, there was a bunch of that short take going on. C-O-L, C-M-A-O. People was crying out loud, crying my ass off. And I want my food. Super dramatic, you know. She was super dramatic. One of those just drama queens. She R-O-T-F, C-M-M-F-A-O. Rolling on the floor, crying on the floor. Come on, y'all. But there was one part of the wedding that bitch was super sad, dog. It was just sad. When she clicked and dragged that casket away, y'all, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God, this is my first time doing this again, and we're going to do it about a little bit. I do watch a lot of comedy shows. I'm glad the whole uh, gangster rap era has kind of faded out. But you know, every... Back in the day, everybody had to have some kind of old monster name. You see somebody like Slick for Leon. You know, just call those different names. My cousin had one of them. He was six foot eight, or 250 pounds, another buck. But he was gay. But he was a gay nation rapper, y'all. His name was Skittles for Home. He was a new CD of Tyler Pace the Rainbow.